Hey there, this is my collab 76760 review and it's bulk freight time. Starting off as always, we'll take a quick look through the truck setup and arrangements starting with the engine. So for the engine, I have chosen the 530T, granting a power to weight rating of A. Following this, you can select the advanced special gearbox, which is always great. And this rounds off the stats as A plus for durability and C minus for fuel consumption. The latter of the two collab trucks is an 8x8 monster. In its initial release in the game, the other collab with the big nose was actually considered a bit more superior as the ride height of this truck was a little too low and it used to catch boulders all the time. But in phase three, this truck received an active suspension buff, greatly improving the ground clearance and making it a bit more consistent to drive. This truck has all wheel drive and diff lock always on, meaning that coupled with the advanced special gearbox, you can easily rock and gear without breaking a sweat. For a long time, it was a peak heavy hauler as demonstrated in this video in the top right, and it was technically a tie with the other collab. But once the Zix 605R was added in phase four, that stole the crown for itself. As the Zix 605R takes a bit of effort to actually obtain, this will easily see you through whatever you need to do in the meantime. It has massive 59 inch tires with four options and a spare one just in case, a nice high snorkel on the roof so you can effectively drive as an eight wheel drive submarine. A 380 liter fuel tank will keep you running for a long time because it's actually fairly fuel efficient given its size. And I don't think that the fuel consumption rating of C minus is fair. There are many, many trucks with way worse consumption and a smaller fuel tank, but the yet seem to have a better rating. While off-roading in high range with no trailer, you'll see variations between 8 and 15 litres per minute, and in low range you can breach 20 litres per minute, but only in the really trickiest of conditions. While towing the super heavy cargo trailer, your consumption will be around 8 to 18 litres per minute, depending on what specifically you're driving through at that point. I took this trailer through the waters of the Yukon as I have used this truck here a lot during my co-op days and it's been great for hauling the massive trailer through the water. In these conditions though you will likely average around 20 litres per minute as these are the most strenuous conditions. Even at 20 litres per minute until dry that's still nearly 20 minutes of solid driving time and of course your consumption will always vary so you'll likely get a bit more. Not only is the fuel consumption good, but this truck is surprisingly fast, especially for its size. If you let it flex in fifth gear, it's no slouch at all. Unfortunately, this truck can only work on high saddle projects given its massive bulk, but it can tow the dolly trailers behind and it does make a great recovery vehicle given its ridiculous torque. The collabs are practically unflippable, and I say practically because I did actually manage it once by accident in Alaska while trying to reach a coastal upgrade in Northport and basically fell over sideways, you really do have to put a lot of effort to roll this thing over. You can buy this truck when you're in Eurasia from level 22 for $137,200. Yes, it's a little pricey, still cheaper than some stuff, and it's obtained at a fairly late level, but if you're focused on the correct missions to power level, you can have this thing in no time, and it's never a bad idea to have a behemoth such as this in your garage. To summarize, the pros of this truck include good fuel consumption, all wheel drive always on, diff lock always on, excels at hauling even the biggest trailers, can hold dolly trailers, and it has a rooftop snorkel. And the cons of this truck include requires active suspension for peak performance, and it only has the high saddle add-on. To sum up, it's an 8 out of 10 from me. It's one of the best at what it does without compromise. Potentially there could have been space for a flatbed or a sideboard bed just to give it something else to go a bit more toe to toe with the Zix 605R, but I'm not really torn up about it. I always enjoy using this truck and it just dominates terrain and it's got a great, great horn as well. So I want to thank you very much for watching. If you found this video useful, then please let me know down below with a like and a comment as it really helps the channel out and have a great day.